I mean, if we're going from a purely economic standpoint, you know, there, you see pizza places often like 10% off. We're, we're bringing them in, we're a massive economic force. Board of students uh, go to local businesses, so probably help the, the local economy. A lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, lots of delis. I think that Fordham students help the Bronx by um, going to their businesses and doing a lot of things out of campus. I honestly say we're a massive positive force when you put it this way. It's like, it's hella nice to be able to walk around the Bronx, stay safe, and be surrounded by other Fordham students. In a sense that, I don't know, I think uh, Fordham itself and students are making the Bronx safer. Uh, honestly, my opinion is kind of negative because as a Latina, uh, I've talked to a lot of people from the Bronx and in the community. I feel like some people are really ignorant to what um, problems the Bronx has and the problems they face as a community. So I feel like maybe we shouldn't be as scared to walk outside and like embrace the culture around us. I think students have a very varied impact on the Bronx. I think positively we contribute a lot to the economy, to the small businesses that are around like the Bronx Night Market, a lot of the independently owned shops and things like that. But I think our impact is far more negative than it is positive. Well, there's a lot of students at Fordham, and I always thought that like Fordham, as Fordham students, we are a guest already to the Belmont community. And that is both a good thing and a bad thing in terms of we are impacting people who live here already. And there's definitely in terms of nightlife and people in general, sometimes we can act as disruption to people that are already living here in the Bronx. Just in terms of mostly like the blatant disrespect for the community. Like I know when COVID was a thing, people would walk off campus, instantly take off their masks, even though a lot of the Bronx population was having trouble getting vaccinated at the time. And like, we go out at all hours of the night, blasting music and like throwing up on the sidewalks, but it's not necessarily our community to do that to. I think that there's a lot of opportunities for Fordham students to do good, especially with a lot of like campus ministry and go projects, like when we're doing organized service, I feel like it can be good. At times it feels a bit white savory because we're a predominantly white institution in the Bronx. Sometimes I think that Fordham students take advantage of the Bronx a little bit in the sense where they don't really respect the people that live there. And although I think we try to be integrated with the community, there are times where I think like Fordham students can be a little bit more respectful. And also people that live off campus, I mean, I'm guilty, I'm one of them, but like, during orientation week, they were having massive parties and like there's people who live here, who work here, but we're not thinking about people who have to like go to school, go to work in the morning. We're not thinking about the people that we're harming by like littering all the time or by coming into businesses like right at closing and asking them to make, you know, like six pizzas for our drunk consumption. <laughs> and like the party got shut down and everyone was like, oh man, this sucks. And it's like, dude, we're not, like people have lives here. We're just visiting, you have to be respectful. I think Fordham students can really have the biggest impact they want. It's their choice to do whatever. But if you're just asking about the Bronx, we have tons of opportunities that a lot of us do take um, seriously. And it's really important that we continue that. I think they provide a sense of community and it's just interesting to like actually live in the Bronx because then we get to learn about their culture while also showing them ours. Mm -hmm.